Hello students and welcome to the Concert Booster class of English. Students, today I am going to tell you about parts of speech and at the same time we can call it as a family of grammar. Students, as you know that the way family plays a very important role in our life, in the same way the family of grammar, it also plays a very important role. Okay, now like in our family we are having the head of the family father or the grandfather is the head of the family. In the same way, in the grammar, we are having the head and the head of the family is noun. So, students, total, there are eight members in this family. In the family of the grammar, we are having the eight members. So, let's move on to the first head of the family and the first member is noun. Students, what do you mean by a noun? Noun is the name of a person, place, animal or a thing means when you are talking about any of the person place animal or a thing that comes into the category of noun like ram sham mohan delhi mumbai calcutta rat cat dog or thing we can say bag bottle etc now second one is the pronoun what do you mean by a pronoun pronoun is a word that is used in place of a noun means when we are using pronoun means what I want to say is that when we are using in place of a noun the word which we are using in place of a noun is known as a pronoun and the word which comes in this category are I, we, you, they, he, she, it, my, their, yours, ours, etc. Now Students, let's take an example. If I would say that Ram is my friend, Ram is a very good boy, Ram lives near my house, Ram studies with me, so it will look odd. So instead of saying Ram and Ram again, what we will use? We will use this pronoun over here because Ram is a man, he is a male. So we will use he over there and we can say that Ram is my best friend, he studies with me, he lives near my house like this. In the same way, if you are talking about girl, we'll make use of the pronoun she. Like if we'll say that Sita is my best friend, she is uh, Sita is very beautiful. So instead of repeating the noun again and again, we can say that Sita is my best friend, she is very beautiful. So the word that we use in place of a noun is known as a pronoun. Okay. Now students, let's move on to the third member of the family and the third member is adjective. What do you mean by an adjective? Adjective is a word which describes about a noun or which modifies a noun. That word is known as an objective. Okay? The word which describes a noun or a pronoun is known as an adjective. Like for example, I would say that Sita is a beautiful girl. So in this sentence, what is, who is Sita? Sita is a noun or we can say the subject also and beautiful it's a quality of sita means noun has been modified by this word beautiful so beautiful is the adjective okay now students let's move on to the next member of the family and that is verb what do you mean by a verb verb means the work that has been done by a noun whatever the work that has been done by a noun comes into the category of the verb and we can include any work like reading, sleeping, jumping, walking, talking, eating, all these words come in this category. Next is the adverb and adverb means a word which modifies or which describes a noun, adjective or an adverb. That word is known as an adverb means a word which describes or modifies a noun adjective as well as another adverb that is known as an adverb for example if we can say that ram runs okay now in this sentence ram is the noun what is runs runs is the verb over here and if you we'll say that ram runs fast and what is fast over here fast is going to be the adverb because it is modifying a verb over here. Word which describes a verb 
adjective and adverb. So, because it is modifying a verb, so we can say that fast is the adverb at the same time runs is the verb over here. Now, suppose if I will say that Ram runs very fast, then what is very over here? Again, it is an adverb, but in this sentence, it is modifying another adverb here because what I had said you earlier that fast is the adverb here. So, when the fast it has been again modified by using any of the other adverb that is known as a adverb. Okay? So, in this sentence we have seen that a word which modifies a verb we have seen which modifies another adverb that is known as an adverb. Now, let us move on to the adjective that how we can say that uh, adverb is used when the adjective has been modified. Take an example. Mohan is a talented boy. Okay? Now, in this case, Mohan is the noun here okay? and talented. What is talented? Talented is the adjective. It is telling, it is uh, modifying, it is describing about the noun. And if I would say that Mohan is a very talented boy, it means that it is modifying an adjective. It is telling about adjective. It is modifying or describing the adjective. So, we can say that talented is an adjective and very is modified by this. So, it is an adverb. Okay, now students, let us move on to the next member of the family that is preposition. What do you mean by preposition? Preposition is a word which shows a connection or position of a one noun with the other. When we show the connection with the one of a one noun with the other, that is known as a preposition. And you know, it depends upon the action, it depends upon the time, it depends upon the distance. That we will discuss later in the next videos. So, uh, you know that many words are there like in, on, at, behind, beside, in front of, after, through. All these words comes in the category of the preposition. Now, next is the conjunction. Conjunction is uh, another important member of a grammar. Means, uh, what do you mean by conjunction? Conjunction is a word which helps us to connect two different sentences. That is the most important thing students uh, that we have to keep it in mind that a word which helps uh, to connect two different sentences uh, without uh, changing the meaning of the sentence that is the most important thing that when we are using the conjunction we must keep it in mind that the meaning of the sentence should not change without changing the meaning okay now for example many conjunctions are there and yet but either or neither nor all these are the conjunctions for example if i have said that ram is a good boy sham is a good boy okay so instead of saying these two sentences individually, we can use a conjunction and we can say that Ram and Sham are good boys. Okay? Now, take one more example. If I would say that Sita is not present in the class, Gita is not present in the class. Again, these two sentences we have written same meaning, they are giving the same meaning, but we have written in a different form. Individually, we have written. So, we can use the conjunction that neither Sita nor Gita is present in the class. Okay? So, now student, the last member of the family is interjection. And what do you mean by interjection? Interjection means a word which shows any sudden feeling or expression. And that sudden feeling, it may be there in the form of joy, sadness or regret or guilt. Okay, so when any of the feeling is there in form of the joy or the sadness, like which gives an intonation word, like sometimes we are very happy that today is a holiday. So what the word we will use? We will say hooray, today is a holiday. Yeah, suppose we have seen one of the best uh, institute, yeah, we have seen a very large monument. What we say? Wow, it's a very, what a large monument it is. Okay? So, the word which we use, at the same time, suppose the person is uh, feeling very sad. So, sudden emotion is there, we will use alas there. Well done for the good, uh, that uh, intonation word. So, congratulations, all these words come into the category of the intersection. So, students, total eight members are there in this family of 
grammar. Okay, now students, let's look at this sentence. Now, people are very advanced. People can invent. Okay, now you will be surprised that why ma'am has written this sentence. So students, what I am going to do with this uh, sentence is that let's take the first word, first letter of each word. Means now we will take N. From people, we will take P. R, we will take A. Then very, we will take V. From advanced, we will take A. Again people, P is there. Again from can, we will take C. And invent, we will take I. Means N, P, A, V, A, P, C, I. And students, what does it mean? This shows the whole family of grammar. The family of the grammar is there. Means N for noun. Noun, pronoun. A for ad adjective. V for verb. A for adverb. P for preposition. C is for conjunction. And I is for interjection. In this way, we can learn that N, P, A, V, A, P, C, I. It would be difficult. Sometimes we just forget also. So, just keep it in mind this sentence. Now, people are very advanced. People can invent. And really, we are advanced. That is why we have invented this imagination. Means, now it is easy for you that when you will look at all these abbreviations, you have to just keep it in mind this sentence. Then all the family of the grammar is there in front of you. Noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. So, students, I hope that now the parts of speech, this family of the grammar is now clear to you. So, this is all for today's session. And uh, if you like my channel, if you like this video, please subscribe it, share it, comment it, and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you. Have a nice day.